guys, I'm Anders again, and today I'm going to teach you how to create a teleport effect without having to use trap code particular. Alright, so if you recall from the last tutorial, we created this effect. Now, After Effects, when you buy the CD, it comes with a bunch of free plugins called Psycore. It's on your installation disk. You can drag it. I'm pretty sure there's an installer in there, which you can use to install it. After that, you'll have all the plugins that you need to create this effect. Alright, so first, let's just get rid of all the trap code particular layers. We won't need those. Okay. So, we're back over here. Alright, go to Mayor, New, Solid. And click OK. Let's just rename it Particles. Right, on your effects and presets, type in CC Particle World. Alright, so now drag your particle world onto the layer. I'll just turn this down to quarter. So you have a fireworkish effect. Okay, now let's start creating our particles. Okay, go down to particle. And on a particle type, change it to textured square. Actually, you notice that the scores are black. We can fix that by deleting the original particular layers. See, now they're all good. I'll just hide those layers again. Okay, so right now it looks empty. There's no particles left right now. Now we want to edit this. So it spreads out. Okay, so hide the solid layers. You won't need those right now. And over here it says texture. Texture layer, select it and select your deep red solid. See the particles are taking shape of the red solid now. Okay, so they kind of are spread out already around here. We don't really want that. We want them to take the shape of the shirt and then spread out after they disappear. So let's just trim it out to have it appear when we start to disappear. Now we'll turn down the birth size a bit. can change this size too. That looks pretty good. Now we want to have it so it takes shape of the shirt. Okay, so go to physics and velocity and turn it down 0.25 and just move it until it overlaps the shirt and set a keyframe now move forward in time to about here and just increase the velocity so it spreads out so as you start disappearing, the particles they'll appear and then they'll spread out. Okay. 
if you notice the particles, they're kind of falling to the ground and stuff. We don't really want that, so let's go set the gravity to zero. Actually, we, we want it to fall down a bit, but then as it starts spreading out, we don't want it to fall down, so we can keyframe it. Set this to 0 0.5, so it covers the entire shirt. And over here, set a keyframe first, and then over here we'll set it to 0. Okay. So, as he disappears, the particles, they start flying everywhere. And then, just like before, you could press T for opacity and just set a keyframe and move forward in time, set it to zero to have the particles slowly fade out. So you can pretty much just duplicate the particles and cover the other layers with your particles. You can just move this over till it fits. And just rotate it a bit. A bit. And you do that with other remaining layers. Oh, and you can turn off the grid the blue grid so it doesn't get in the way at the top where it says grid change it from floor to off that's better good right now let's give it a quick RAM preview pretty good anyways I hope you learned something I'm Anders thanks for watching